literally for months, literally for months, we have been praying for this night and this moment. And there have been people staying up all night long for this moment. There's been people fasting. There's people all over the world praying for this moment. And um, we were trying to get this gentleman into the country and our State Department said he was not allowed in our country. Twice, twice. And um, our congressman got involved. Um, that's right, Jim Jordan, he got involved. And uh, we wrote some letters, uh, and, but honestly, we prayed. Uh, this gentleman really felt um, he was supposed to be here. He really felt like he was supposed to come to Converge. He felt like he was supposed to speak tonight. Um, our hearts have been burdened. Uh, he went to the embassy on Monday. Today's Saturday. We're talking Monday. And they said, you can enter the country. Yeah. I don't think that I've ever been more excited about introducing a speaker to you because I really believe that he is a, 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 a man that God himself has sent here to speak to all of us. And the message that he is going to speak from the Lord is gonna impact you so, this is gonna hit us so hard. There's gonna be a holy hush that comes across this and you guys have no idea who this guy is. This is like reading from the, the book of Acts. You're gonna be hearing about somebody that walked like some of the apostles throughout the centuries. I can't even give you his real name. He's coming in here and he said that he wants everything to be live and it could cost him his life. I want you to give him a big converge welcome, Daniel. Thank you so much. Bless you, bro. Ah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, you are so amazing. In fact, you are so amazing, you make me nervous, you know. <laughs> Usually when I speak, people throw a stone at me or they shoot at me. That's a normal thing for me. You're too good for me. You're too good. You have a greeting from the church in Syria and from the church in Iraq and Iran. It's, you probably hear so many bad things in the TV, and unfortunately, they don't tell you what the God is doing in that region. I'm from Iran originally. You probably heard about Iran. I'll just give you a short history lesson about Iran. Up to 70, 1979, we had a free country, so-called democratic country. The church was free, the Bible was free, we had so many missionaries that come to the Iran from all over the world, they start to orphanage hospitals and they worked for 100 years. And up to 79, 1979, we had maybe 20 believers in the whole Iran from Muslim background. 1979, we had a revolution in Iran and it came that this fanatic Islamic government took over of the Iran. The first day the leader came to the Iran of this government, on an airplane when he was coming down on the, from the stairs, he said, this is Islamic country. We're going to export the Islam to all over the world. No more any other religion, no more Christianity in this country. Christianity is finished. They closed all the churches. They kicked out all the missionaries. They burned a thousand and thousand Bible in the main square. And everybody said, that's it. Christianity is finished in Iran. Now nearly is 40 years. 40 years we haven't got a church. We cannot enjoy and rejoice like you and praise the Lord the way you can do it. We don't hardly have a Bible. We have to smuggle a Bible. Sometimes we share a Bible, one Bible.